Next fly that I'd like to show you is what I call the Z fry. And that's because the first fly I ever tied used Z lawn for the wing here. And as you can tell, I started going back to the poly or macrame yarn stuff. And that's what the wing is here. Is that macrame yarn? The hook is a 9395. The body is epoxy. And then we have some stick on eyes here. Let me show you how I do this one. First thing we're going to do is stick in our hook. And we'll attach our monofilament thread. Just like so. Then we're going to take some monofilament. Well, that should be long enough right there. And we're just going to lash this on. Yeah, it doesn't even need that much. Right on top of the hook shank here, like so. And you don't want to go all the way to the eye, because eventually we're going to fold this back, and tie it down, and that gives us the form for our minnow body. Now we'll just take our thread back. Another neat variation you can do with this is to put some like silver tinsel down here or gold tinsel or even some crystal flash. Or you can even make this a, a black, just color it black and you'll have that black lateral lining through here. Now what we're going to do is take the hook out and insert it upside down. Now we're going to start building our wing. For that, we're going to need some of that poly yarn or macrame yarn. So we'll take a hunk of this off. And we'll cut a fairly long piece here. And what we're going to do is just figure eight it on here. One figure eight. And then just one wrap in front of it. Then what you do is just take, pull both materials straight back, and then just wrap back over the top of it. And then bring your thread forward. See, so by do, keep doing this all the way front forward, we can keep this material right on top of the hook shank. And then once we get all done, this hook point's going to be completely buried within the wing, which helps to make it a little bit more of a weed guard on it. Fold it back and tie it down. Bring our thread forward. And better get some more of this yarn here. Making kind of a mess out of this. And cut a hunk. The nice thing about it, you don't want to use a whole lot. You can make your wing fairly sparse. Like this hunk I just tied in, that was just a that was just a little bit too thick. Better thin that out a little bit. And it'll cut off another hunk and figure eight that on there. Wrap back. Now we're just about up to where we left off with our mono. We'll take one final hunk of this stuff. Just like so. And we'll tie that in. Figure eight it. Make sure everything's all on top. And just wrap back onto it a little bit. Just like so. That slipped right off. There we go. And we'll bring our thread forward. Make up a little head here, a little bit of it. Build it up. And we'll take off our thread. Whip finish it off. Pull that mono out of the way. 
We're going to just get our thread off here. Take it off. and Now we're ready to reattach it in the back here. But before we do that, just to make life easier, what we're going to do is just stroke all this material to the front, like so. And then I'll just take whatever tying thread I have laying around. And I'll just go right over the top of it. Just go several times. And just cut it off. Just want something to hold it up there so we can reattach our mono thread back here. So we'll get this on here. Cut that off. Now we're going to take that mono and loop it back underneath here. And we're going to tie it off. And I'm going to make sure it's all lined up down there. Like so. And just take a few more there. Now you can stop at this point and see if that's about the right loop that you want. So you can either pull on this to tighten it up a little bit or you can pull out here to make it even a little bit wider. That looks pretty good, so we'll snip off this excess. Then I'll just come in here with my scissor point and snip that black thread. And we'll get that out of there. Well, I snipped that thread a little too soon, but we'll make it work. You should not clip that thread until you whip finish off. So get that whip finish in here. Just like so. And we just cinch it up here like that. And we better do that a little bit more. See, that's the reason you want to keep that material out of the way. It just makes life a whole lot easier. Like that old saying goes, do as I say, not as I do. And take that off. Just like so. And we made it. Now you can pull this stuff all back. And if you want, you can take a mustache comb. And just kind of comb it out a little bit. Or if you don't have a comb, you can use your tips of your scissors. It just gets the tangles out of it. And it makes it all flow nice and even towards the back. Like so. And then we'll just come in and trim our wing. And just come. Like so. And we'll take it down the sides here. like so. Just keep rounding it off. Basically you just want to trim it up till you get the desired shape that you want. If you want you can take it out of the vise and to get all that loose stuff out of there you can blow on it. Then you just look at it a little bit and from the underside see what kind of shape you're getting. Basically, you're just giving it a good trim or haircut. Just kind of like using deer hair. You got to always come back and do some trim on, on it. Yeah, it looks pretty good so right in there. That'll work. Put it back in the vise. And you want to make sure you don't have any between your 
hook your mono loop in there and the hook shank. Stuff just gets everywhere. It's kind of a pain to work with, but it sure does the job when it comes to catching fish. Now we're ready to continue to finish up our body here. What we're going to do first, though, is we're going to put on some eyes. This time, instead of the eyes that have the stem on them, we'll use the ones that have the self-adhesive back. This particular one, we'll just make this a red and white fly, so we'll stick on some red eyes. And peel off another one. Like so. And we'll just stick that on the other side. And just kind of smash it between your fingers. And there we go. Now we're ready to do our epoxy work. So we want to get us a little work area here and get my sticky notes out. Then we'll add some epoxy. For that, I like to use five minute epoxy. This is DevCon, or you can use Z epoxy. By using the five minute epoxy, it just gives you a little more time to work with it. Plus, we can come in, as I'll show you here in a minute, and we could add little glitter and black spots and you just be as creative as you want to. You can get this glitter at any arts and crafts store. Just put a little bit of that in there. And then we'll add a few black dots. Just kind of tap it, like shaking out some pepper. Now we can mix this stuff up. Make sure you mix it real well so both of the formulas get mixed up together real well. Otherwise you end up with kind of a tacky feeling fly. Just like that ought to be good. Now what you do is just I always start by turning it a little bit sideways. And I'll just start putting my epoxy in there. And I'll g get a little bit up onto the wing. And that just helps to uh, make it a little more durable. And then I'll do the same thing on the side away from us here. We'll flip that around. Just like so. And we'll get a little bit more. Now we'll start filling up this loop. And we want to go right between the eyes here. This helps to form your head. Plus it helps to keep your eyes a little more durable. Getting that epoxy in there. I mean, you can make your body just as fat as you want to. And get it right in there. And a little bit on this side. A little bit more. Yeah, that ought to work. And that's, now that we're done, we're going to have to wait for that epoxy to dry. So we'll just kind of turn it in our, in our vise here. Till it completely dries, or if you're at home, you can just put it in a one of those epoxy or rod turning machines till it dries. And no matter how hard you blow on it or whatever you do, it's going to take five minutes for it to harden up. Once it's set up, then you have your fly complete. Now you have the option of coming back and using whatever color magic markers that you want.
and you can color that wing and make it however you desire. This particular one will just leave kind of white and clear with those red eyes. And a lot of times, that's all you're going to need.